Welcome to Hot Topics. In this video, we're going to discuss the existing uh, Table 220.12a, which has been relocated and renumbered as uh, Table 220.42a. And you designers and contractors, electricians and inspectors, plans reviewers, you notice uh, in the 2020 edition, they restructured uh, these volt amp ratings per square foot. For example, a store was 3 VA per square foot. And of course, you would look at it as a continuous or non-continuous load. Now, they tried to clear up uh, folks that were getting confused by this uh, rule. And it deals with the note right below the table. Uh, excuse me, 220.42a. And it says the 125% multiplier for a continuous load as specified in 210.20a is included. Therefore, no additional multiplier shall be required when using the unit loads in this table for calculating the minimum lighting load for a specific uh, occupancy. Now, we know if we go over and take a look at 210.20a on page 84 now of the 2023 edition of the NEC, it'll be on the right-hand side of the page. And notice it deals with the overcurrent protection device. And it says, you know, the continuous load at 125% plus the non-continuous load. So basically, you know, if we took one and divided by 125%, that basically comes out 80% D-rate of the breaker. So if you had a circuit breaker that was rated at 20 amps, 80% of that would be 16. Or take 16 amps at 125%, and that would be 20 amps. Now, designers are saying, well, now, take a look at that 210.28 they're referencing there. That's a branch circuit. That doesn't seem to have anything to do with 230.42a, uh, 1, for example, or 215.2a uh, uh, for a feeder, service or feeder. It doesn't seem to address that. And, you know, designers will basically say, you know, stock up. If you, uh, if you take a look at a store building now and you drop down to number 8 below the table, that used to be H. Now it's 8. Stores are considered retail occupancies, so you would uh, go over to uh, retail uh, occupancies here, 7 and 8 there, and of course we're dealing with 8. Notice that's 1.9 uh, volt amps per square foot, where it used to be 3. And they're saying, that, you know, we've reduced these VA ratings tremendously. And now they're saying, is that 125% just for the branch circuit? Or is it for services and feeders, you know, as we'll kind of review here. Now, if we're going over, say, to um, uh, 230.42a1, uh, and you know that's uh, uh, basically, that's, uh, uh, that's around uh, page uh, 110. It's on the left-hand side of the page. And it reads... Were the service conductors supply continuous loads or any combination of non-continuous loads and continuous loads, the minimum service conductor size will have an ampacity, not less than the sum of the non-continuous loads, you know, which are taken at 100% if they operate less than three hours, uh, or if they operate for three hours or more, they'd be taken at 125%. Uh, as shown there, 125% of the continuous loads. But notice non-continuous loads can be loads with demand factors less than one, like 80%, 90%, uh, or they could be just 100% operating at less than three hours if no demand factors are permitted uh, per NEC. So now this is a problem. Does the, and, and I'm talking about the problem is people are making a different interpretation on application of 230.42A1 and table 220.42A1. 
So we, we kind of uh, review and see how we're going to make this interpretation. And, and what I'm trying to say, we're getting different interpretations here. Uh, they say yes for the branch circuit. They, that's what they're referencing in the note underneath uh, the new table 220.42A1. But is that application also for services in 230.42A1 and feeders in 215.2A per uh, 2023 NEC? Now, you know, kind of taking a, a, a look at this now and, and reviewing it the way we want to look at it, let's just take a look at uh, this illustration uh, and I believe this uh, for the service, this is figure 23-2 in Stalkup's Electrical Design Book, Designing Electrical Systems, where you can read a great deal more uh, concerning this calculation pertaining now to the 2020 NEC. We'll have the design book ready. Uh, it's our goal, uh, ready for publication and uh, by uh, January 1. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. But now notice this is uh, from the 2020 edition of Stalkup's Electrical Design Book, Designing Electrical Systems. General lighting load, left-hand side, top of the illustration. 220.12 references to your table 220.12. And in this table, if we drop down to step one, 6,000 square foot store building, according to uh, Table 220.12H, we pick up 1.9 VA under the retail uh, store type, uh, uh, you know, reference there we get in the table. So 1.9 VA times 6,000 is 11,400. Now in step two, we just took the continuous load of 230.42A1 for services you see up here, service conductors, not the uh, general purpose lighting load for a branch circuit or a feeder. And we added the 125% onto that. And when we did the math, we come up with 14,250 VA. And some folks now say, well, no, you would just take the 6,000 uh, square foot at 1.9 VA and you're done. And a lot of engineers says, uh-uh, to play it safe because plan checkers and exam uh, reviewers, they're looking at this 125% rule, so we just tack 125% uh, onto it and there's no problem. We get, we get our uh, plan uh, review check, uh, we, we get it approved and we're ready for it to permit, so so, this, you know, you see other uh, references in here to help you understand what's taking place here a little bit more in detail if you care to go through your code book and uh, review them. But now remember, uh, this table, as you see in step one, table 220.12H, is now table 220.42A uh, there that you would pick it up and uh, it... Uh, it would be eight there that we would uh, get our reference. And I believe that uh, new table is identified as table 230.42A1 in the 2020, uh, or excuse me, 2023 edition of the NEC. Now, as you can see here now, that is the problem of interpretation. And, you know, I'm not uh, knocking anybody's interpretation. I'm just saying that Everybody doesn't look at this the same. Now, let's look at uh, 215.2A1 in the uh, 2023 edition, and that would be 215.2A1A, I believe, in the 2020 edition. And notice how it reads. Where a feeder supplies continuous loads or any combination of continuous and non-continuous loads, the minimum feeder conductor size shall have an ampacity not less than the non-continuous load plus 125 percent of the continuous load. Now again we go back to our table uh, 220.42A1 and the 2023 edition and it's 125 percent rule that you see here included. Some people say yes, 
Some people say no. So this is an interpretation thing, and the authority having jurisdiction is going to make the final ruling. So uh, kind of keep that in mind, and we're not trying to create problems here. We're just saying be aware of it. And, of course, when we go over and look at uh, this uh, 215, uh, uh, well, 215.2a, we would uh, uh, check that uh, on page... Uh, 90, and it's on the left-hand side of the page, and you'll find this uh, information that you see here in the 215.2a1 now, not 215.2a1a that you would see in the uh, 2020 uh, edition. Now, looking at this, we want to take a look at what we're talking about here and what is the problem. Now, looking at this illustration, you notice now that we have a, a non-continuous load of 95 amps. And uh, if that operates less than three hours, it's defined in Article 100 of the NEC. Uh, any load that operates uh, less than three hours is 100%, so we have that there, see. Now, dropping down to the 98 amps, and that could include some of the VA per square foot rating that we see in our table 220.42A1 now, that's in the 2023 edition, and 125% now, because this is the feeders you see in the illustration, and when we do our math, 100% of 95, 125% of 98, take those two values, add them together, we come up 217.5 amps, and then 220.5B of the code, since this is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, we can round up, so it would be 218. Now, again, uh, we get different interpretations of this rule, and all I'm pointing out to you, read it very carefully, apply the note below table uh, 220.42A1, the new table in accordance with the uh, NEC uh, 2023 edition, and then uh, read, uh, say, 230.42A1 on page 110, read uh, the requirement there, then uh, go over to 215.2A1 uh, and uh, read the information that's given there. And then check with the authority having jurisdiction and see how they're going to look at this 125% rule. Well, they say, yes, it is in, included uh, in the table, 230.42A1, and you're done. Or will they say, no, you need to put the 125% rule onto that load as illustrated and could be read to say you had to do that in 230.42A1 and 215.2A1. Now, uh, I, I, this seems to be a problem amongst engineers, contractors uh, mainly, uh, and the uh, plans reviewer that has the authority to issue the plans based upon the interpretation of this rule and calculating the general lighting load in accordance with the table 230.42A1 and for services, 230.42A1. For feeders now, uh, 215.2A1. And then naturally for a branch circuit, you'd look at uh, 210.19A1 and 210.20A. And these sections seem to be uh, the problem. So there you have it. My name is James Gray Stalkup, and uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you like these videos, recommend them to your friends and hit that subscribe button and uh, notification and uh, receive our videos each week. Now, we will continue to provide you a weekly video on a change in the 2023 NEC that folks are having a different interpretation of in some cases. Again, have a nice day.